Hello, I'm the Red Monk, and welcome to the fourth episode of Virtual Bust. This episode is called The Comedic Cooch, Episode 2. And I haven't uploaded, and it's like two months now, and that's because I went nuts. I went to the nut house, and then the virus happened, so I've just been playing video games 24-7. But I upgraded with the uh, relief fund. I got a fancy microphone. Here. This is nigger shit we were on earlier. This eBear USB. Sounded like shit, but we're back. Uh, we're going to slowly start rolling into consistent uploads. Episode 4 Virtual Bus. The comedic cooch. Virtual bus. So we're looking at Garfield the Cat comics. We got this. It's loading. From uh, the 18th of January in 1986. And now the world class pancake flipper will demonstrate his skill with a cat staring at his ass. He flips the pan. Pardon my ignorance, Mr. World Class Pancake Flipper, but shouldn't the stove be turned on first? Now he's licking his ass. Look at that. He's like glaring right into at John Arbuckle's ass. This is representing of his psyche. As you can see, we see the natural order. Now, I'm not sure if you libtards are scared or just are attuned to and just become this hunk of man meat due to the natural order. Garfield's first Garfield's history of cats, okay? The first cat was domesticated about a million years ago. The cat nickname Org was owned by a caveman named Chuck. While rumor has it that Org ate his owner. See, it's the natural order. Historians maintain the family dog ate Chuck. See, it's a natural order. Dog eat dog. It's bust nut or get busted upon. Well, then you just don't. It's a natural order. What the fuck is that monster? And what's up with animals staring at humans' ass? That does not look like human. That that looks incredibly ugly. Hello, doggy, are you lost? Yes. Would you like to come home with me? Mm-hmm. Got it. <laughs> and now, would you like those silly ears to be tied in a square knot? The dog continues to nod, thought so. God, is that fucking ugly. That's a fucking nightmare. Yawn, yawn. So now they, they they arise after sleeping together. After sleeping together, they both rise. In the morning, they bathe together. They eat together. And this time, the human's looking at the cat's ass. Now they're watching TV, and he's stroking the cooch. After they watch TV, they stroke. Come on, Garfield, let's go jogging. Have a good time. And that's from the 19th of August of 1979. That is, what, over 40 years ago now? Fuck. <laughs> Ding dong. The cat walks towards the door which is being rung. Then Bill Cosby shows up. Oh, baby. <laughs> Virtual best. Bill Cosby part-times as a pizza man on the Garfield. Oh, baby. who? What else are you expected to say when you see that hunk of man meat holding a pizza? That's just fucked up. Oh, baby. Help. Drop the pizza 
and play dead. Now it's like necrophilia mixed with bestiality, mixed with date raping. This is just really depicts the best. That was the second best. Oh, bye. Click, click. There's a hole between his legs. Ooh. I'll tell you, you Gar one of the pillar aspects of Garfield is that John Arbuckle is a fucking beta cuck. He's about how he's always get. He's the one who is stroke. He's not a stroke. He ain't now if he's a, like a beta. He sucks. And he's got holes between his legs. He's got a pipe that's owned by a cat. His literal testicles, his literal alpha male presence dominance as a man does not exist. He is a beta cuck. A simp of sorts. I'm not reading this. This is fucking war and peace, but you can see. Just for. What is that? Five or six? Now, six days in the 80s. Garfield's believe it or not, it's like Mythbusters. Um, myth bot story. That's the third bot. <sighs> Fucking like War and Peace shit. Some hentai in the middle. <sighs> Do you know what this day could use? It is time to kick Odie off the table. He's just kicking that cat. Thud. A thud. It is time to kick Odie off the table. Wow. This is weird for two reasons. First off of how low quality it is. Only their the eyes change once. Kind of sucks. Kind of bland. I mean, it's from the 90s. And the 90s were a hell of a time. But, uh... Normal, long time, no see. Yup. Did you miss me? Does a toe miss a hangnail? I miss you too. They're fucking telepathic. These felines, these cooches, these pussies are telepathic. How, how they're thinking, they're thinking, those, those are thoughts. Those thoughts are thinking. And they're communicating, they're tele telepathy. Nobody takes me seriously. Notice the wall shading. Not even me. How it goes inwards. How he's self reflective. How he's looking inwards. See how the wall shading goes inwards? Yeah. It's because it's retrospection. It's in, see how it's inwards. It's looking into yourself. <laughs> Another lazy strip. The only difference is same strip, same strip, John Arbuckle. How's the salad? Ask yourself. I'm not speaking to it. So he doesn't like salad. More laziness. Just voice bubbles there. I'm not showing my age. Not for you or anyone else. Another how he's reflecting upon himself on the inner pools of society. Virtual bias. So, that was... Episode 4 of Virtual Bias. All in all, it was pretty good. Expect more consistent uploads from here on out. Um, yes. Virtual Bias.